don't do anything else in Japan. Just do this. <laughs> Mayuko and I'm from Japan. I'm having my own cooking class which I and where I teach Japanese home style cooking yeah. to foreign visitors. Yeah. So you said it, this is like a sandwich for yeah. Japanese people. So yeah. it's, just like, it's it's an excuse to be creative. Do you ever do like you have a lot of stuff in the fridge and you just go, I'm just gonna make it Really good roll, and then just put all the leftovers in there. I kind of, I hope I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> So Fanny's just done really, really well. Okay. No pressure, her, Abby. No pressure. I'm already pressure. Just, <laughs> if you believe in yourself, Abby, okay. you can achieve anything. Of like a bucket list thing to hand roll sushi in Japan. So proud, proud. very so proud. proud. Your favorite uh, thing to eat, <gasps> Japanese. I love this one. Yeah. Eat it, take it. Redesigning your mind. Thank you, <laughs> Just came out of my Euro's uh, cooking class. Uh, oh my god, I definitely, definitely recommend doing that. Like, it's our first day here and to go straight into that, into Japanese cooking and Japanese traditions is really kind of, I'd probably say, set the tone for the trip. about these crepes that they have in Tokyo and they don't disappoint. You can get a cheesecake crepe. That's right, Dad. You can get a cheesecake crepe. Shori cheesecake, chocolate, crepe. Game changer. traveling we just met some random guy on the street who took us to try on kimono okay we're gonna <laughs> this is like geisha right she's a sugar full of human power you're gonna need some higher connection before walking away into another dimension before walking Redesigning your mind, feel it and understand. Move on to the other side. Oh.